it's pretty natural to be a bit nervous because you know all the things that can go wrong and certainly some things will go wrong. That's part of the excitement though, knowing that there's going to be challenges to face and see how well we can do it. You know, most people will show up at a sporting event, maybe even watching it on television, with no thought of the countless hours, days, months that have gone into that event. And that's Montgomery. He breaks the tackle. He's going to have enough for a first down. Jessen just wings it out there. He's got a receiver. Touchdown! For us, a live Friday night game doesn't start Friday night. Week of, Monday morning, what does that look like? Well, we've got just a few days till live game day, so we're looking at a complete crew and staff behind the scenes coordinating the logistics for the broadcast, for the setup, for the distribution, equipment testing and preparation that has to be taken care of, video assets, audio assets that need to be edited and prepared and ready for live uh, production. As if all of the live broadcast systems isn't enough, sometimes we layer on the Jumbotron. But again, the thrill that comes when you light it up and people see their own face and uh, are able to interact with it adds a whole new level to our production. Lots going on behind the scenes before people show up in the stadium and see the Jumbotron or tune into the live feed. One of the exciting aspects is being able to bring together a vast background of, of people. Talent, their commentators, their announcers, they understand the game, all the way down to other technical people, whether it be camera operators, live graphics, instant replay, switching. There's also network engineers and people in the background making sure that we have the connectivity we need to deliver our streams. Live TV, live production, uh, there's a lot of unknown, and again, that's, that's really part of the thrill of producing it. When you're right there, when you're in the chair, sometimes you feel um, like a conductor up there just you know, directing the music or directing the show and having all those individual, individual instruments and pieces coming together. You know, for most people, the game's over and, you know, that's it. Turn out the lights, go home, turn off the TV. For me and my team, a lot of our work has just begun. Now it's time to get it all packed up and in most cases then, of course, hit the road and travel. It's a, it's a big commitment on the part of our crew. Uh, they're very dedicated people who are willing to stay late and make things happen, usually working late into the night. The truth is, we couldn't do it without our sponsors. Typically, you won't find this level of production and commitment in a lot of communities of our size. And it's because of the good people that come together and help us and support us that allow us to be able to execute this in the way that we do. 